everybody, it's Tiffany, and I'm so excited today to tell you about our new flippin' storage binder. So some of you have seen the flippin' storage binder before. It was only two inches wide. This one's nearly three inches wide. And why did we make it wider? Because you said, wow, I'd like to put more stuff in there, or I really bulked it out, right? We have a lot of stuff. So the new three inch flippin' storage binder just came in stock. We've got a nice D-ring on the inside, a little bit more heavy duty, bigger ring for you, and it's gonna come preloaded with three flipping pages, right? So the pages are double-sided. You've got four by six pockets on the front, and you've got five by seven pockets on the back, right? So what are you gonna put in here? Oh, you can also buy additional pages. So depending on how fat your pages are, how much stuff you've put in them, you can buy an additional set of three pages. Now these are a standard three hole punch, so I know some of you like to use these in a regular binder. You can do that as well, but they're also gonna fit in the flipping storage binder. Let me show you a couple of them loaded up. So here's kind of a cool thing about the flipping storage binder. The tabs, happy accident, right? I'm always having these. If you put the binder on the shelf backwards, I know this sounds crazy, the tabs stick off so you can see from the shelf what's in each binder based on the tab. So I've got mine in the shelf backwards. I know that freaks people out. If you wanna put it in the shelf frontward, regular word, whatever it's called, there is a label pocket on the side that you can label and put it in so that you can see you know, what you've got in there. So if you want it to look all nicey-nicey like that, you can do that as well. It does have the finger hole to pull it off the shelf. I've loaded this up with kind of random things so that I can just kind of show you all the different stuff that fits in here. So this first page is full of dies, right? And what did I do? I just took my dies and I put them into our medium die and stamp pockets. And I put the packaging in with them and then I just put them in here. So I could really consolidate down. One of the challenges with die storage is that dies are heavy on their own. Um, and then when you add them to something like magnets, they're even more heavy with the magnets. So putting them in the pocket alleviates a lot of that weight. You can flip through, see all the things that you've got. Super easy. So great place to store dies if you're using the pockets. Embellishments are a no brainer, right? Four by six and five by seven. So I've got everything here for a road trip through the good old USA. A lot of you know my husband drives from show to show, so we see a lot of the US as we're traveling around. I've got all the pieces in here for that USA road trip, all packed in, nicely labeled, easy to find, and I love that flipping uh, aspect, so you can kind of flip through and choose your things. Over here, more embellishments, right? I've got bling. If you're looking for some pockets to put that bling in, this might be a great solution for you. This is also a great little tool if you want to load it up just for a specific event, right? So if you're going to go work on just, like I said, just the travel trip, I can put all the stuff in there and have it all with me when I travel so it's nice and small. Stencils. And you can see that I have used our shut your flap tabs in both sizes large and small, to label everything. So on this side, I've just, I just wrote on it stencils. These are butterfly stencils, Tim Holtz stencils, Moroccan patterns. So it just makes it a little bit easier to know what's in there, especially if your stencils are white, like this butterfly stencil, which you probably can't even see on the camera because it's white and you can't see it. And then I've also got a brass stencil in there as well. So some of the things you're gonna be able to store in there, embellishments, dies, stencils. What else? Let's look at this one. Right, the four by six and five by seven dimensions are really common sizes for crafting. So I've got embossing folders. Now with these, again, I used our shut your flap tabs, the larger ones, and I also use my label maker, right? So if you want everything to look neat and tidy, you can make a label and stick it right on the tab. Why don't I do that? A, I like a little bit of color, so that um, using the shut your flap tabs gives me a little bit of color. Things kind of pop a little bit more. Um, I'm not particularly fond of my penmanship. So if I print my label and stick it on a label tab, then it looks a little bit nicer. And last but not least, if I'm gonna change out what's in each of the pockets and I stick the label right to the tab, 
then I have to get that label off to put a new label on. So if you're planning on keep putting things in here and keeping them in there and not changing things out, then go ahead and label right on the label tab. But if you think you're going to change things out, use a sticky note and it'll make it a little bit easier to do that. So 5x7 embossing folders, 4x6 embossing folders, no brainer. Over here I've got cards to send, right? So these are all thank you cards. On the back side, I've got card blanks. So anything that's going to fit in that 4x6 or 5x7 dimension is going to work awesome in this 3-inch flippin' storage binder. In this side, I've got um, unmounted red rubber stamps, like Whimsy Stamp Collection, right? I can see everything. Again, I put the packaging in so that I can see what the image is really clearly of the stamp rather than just seeing the stamp. And then on this back side, even photos. Again, 4x6 on the front, 5x7 on the back. So if you're planning a project, you may want to use one of these pages to separate out those photos by 12x12 layout, right? So you put up to six photos in a pocket, and now you have each of your 12x12 layouts for that project all sorted out and ready to go. So just a plethora of things that you can store in your flip and storage binder. People love these because they're small and compact easy to take with you, easy to store on a regular size shelf. So just a great little organizer for all kinds of different crafty things. And remember, you can put them on the shelf frontward or backward. However you want to, whatever you want to see is going to work anyway with those. So the Craft Supply Flip and Storage Binder. There are extra pages for it available. You are gonna love working with this product.